This is a mystery painting series that will slowly reveal the mystery painting from Diamond Art Club done by Abraham Hunter. <laughs> Not Abraham Lincoln, Abraham Hunter called Secret Garden. So if you have this painting or are trying to obtain this painting to do for yourself, please click out of this video as it will slowly reveal the painting. Hello, shiny, happy people. Welcome to Kimba's Crafts. My name is Kim, and if you're new here, hello. And if you're returning, thanks, guys. As always, I appreciate you. Um, so we are here to do another square on the mystery canvas. This is a square by square um, reveal. And today we are going to reveal the 25th square. So there are actually 24 on here that we revealed and yeah, we're more than halfway now. So, is that right? No, wait a minute. We have 23 left. We have 23 left and I'm revealing, wait a minute, <laughs> two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23. No. Yeah, so we revealed 24 and we have 23 left. Blah. I got it. There's 47 squares. We revealed 24. I'm doing the 25th square and we have 23 left. That's where 25 came in. I couldn't figure it out. Okay, I got it. <laughs> All right, let's just spin this and I'm going to stop talking. Where is 20? Okay. 20 is up here. Up in the trees. I mean, we might have something going on because here's the fence, the start of this fence. So who knows? It might just be trees, but there might be something else up there. Maybe there's a, another bird. We won't know until we start putting the diamonds down. Okay, guys, I'm going to set you up. Just give me a second. Okay, we are all set up here. And this is the first time that I'm doing a square that is completely blocked off by diamonds. So I did not have to, um, you know, straighten anything. We're doing number 20 here. And more than likely, it's all trees. Who knows? Maybe they popped a bird in there. That'd be cool. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick life update. And then get busy because... Yeah, it's, it's kind of late. See? 8.54. Um, which is not late for me. I know I'm always up pretty late but I, I didn't sleep a whole lot today. I worked the last three days, three evenings into this morning. And so today's my first day off and I did it again, guys. I picked up a bunch of overtime. They're killing me with these bonuses. They just keep increasing them and increasing them because everybody's like burnt out. So they're offering a bonus and then nobody picks up. So then they increase it, nobody picks up. Then they increase it. Nobody picks up. Then they increase it. Eventually, it's just too good to say, like, no, I'm tired. So that's what happened to me. I ended up picking up a total of, what, 24 hours, broken up, 8, 8, 4, and 4. So four shifts total. Um, and I figured, you know what? Let me get the money while I can. And um, then on my vacation, I am not going to feel guilty about not picking up time. I'm going to enjoy my time off because I do have another vacation coming up. I think it's in three weeks. And again, we're not going anywhere. We're just doing a staycation, but I, 
we talked about going away like for a few days here or there um but then i was like why don't we just get new carpet and <laughs> get a new sofa and you know do some things to the house because literally going away you you end up spending like two three thousand dollars uh, we could have gotten a new carpet in our living room for that so we both agreed that that's what we're going to do um so we're going to do some some small home improvements and uh yeah enjoy some time together say hi bob hi bob <laughs> He says hi to all the Bobs out there. <laughs> um, yeah, and I, I, I mean, really, honestly, that's it. I mean, the last time I made this a video to you guys was before I started my three-day stretch, and nothing happens in my life when I'm doing three days in a row. You get up, you eat, you sleep again, you eat again, you shower, you go to work, you come home, you sleep. And you do that all over again. Two more times. Oh, I lied. I did spend some money. That's the problem with picking up overtime. You pick up overtime and you're like, oh, well, I deserve this. So I finally did get a, I did buy an Etsy pen. I said I wanted to buy a small shop hand turned pen. And I did order one. It was pretty reasonably priced compared to what I, you know, normally see. I don't remember if it was on sale or not. I think it was, but it was like $30. And um, it's definitely not one that, you know, I could find at a normal shop. It has some really cool colors and it's thicker. So I like, I like the thick pens and I was wondering if I would like an even thicker pen uh, I know for a fact I wouldn't like a thinner pen, um, so I wanted to try the, the, the bulk of a thicker pen, so I ordered that. I'm still waiting on some diamond paintings. Um, you know, I, I keep checking. Um, I did order from Uniquely Yours Down Under. That hasn't, I haven't gotten any shipping notices about that yet. Um, so again, whatever arrives in time to make it to the, to, in time for me to do an unboxing and, you know, a, a poll on what you want my next canvas to be, makes it. Whatever doesn't, doesn't. No stress. I'm not going to stress about it. Um... I am going to record my Dreamers Design unboxing. They came out with some really cute things. I had my eye on one, but I haven't, e I haven't even done a Dreamers Design, so I really want to do a Dreamers Design before I buy more of them. Um, I didn't get anything from Diamond Art Club. I, I haven't gotten anything from them in... in weeks um but yeah nothing really got me i didn't i didn't order um the avatars because they just weren't my favorite pictures um if they come out with one where they're all in the in it and uh i would think about it but I didn't like the two that they released. Not that I didn't like them, but they just weren't my favorite. And um, it'd be cool if they put Appa and Momo in them. And then, let's see, what else did I do? Um, so when, when I start my Dreamers design, if you guys end up picking that one, we'll see if I want to order from them again. Although I hear very good things. And yeah, I think that's it. Oh, I did, <laughs> Bob's in here. I did order uh, some scrubs, 
Like everybody wears the figs. I do have some nurses, anybody else in the medical field, are you guys wearing figs? I mean like everybody, even the guys are wearing the figs now. Everybody is wearing the figs. And um, they're, they're all like, oh, you got the new color. And they're talking about the colors. Um, so yeah, I, I decided I'm gonna try a pair of figs. They look pretty comfortable. So any of my healthcare workers that listen, do you guys wear figs? So I have two, I just ordered scrub pants. Two pairs of scrub pants figs. I just got the regular black and navy. Um, so I'm excited to try those. Those shipped. I think that's it. Tomorrow Bob and I are going to go get massages finally. Much needed. Um, so we're excited about that. Bob's gonna get fluffed and puffed. I am going to get some knots worked on. And yeah, that's it. I did a uh, square of my diamond painting Deutschland today before I went to the gym. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys that tomorrow. Uh, the video will probably come out on Monday, but I'm really excited to record that tomorrow or Monday morning, whichever. I honestly have not been working a whole lot on my Christmas canvas just because I've been working. And if I had a chance, I did the Diamond Painting Deutschland and I'm even behind as far as like squares on that. Oh, yeah, 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 I started a new project. <laughs> no business starting a new project, but I got a little bit of the crochet bug and I decided um, when I'm sitting on the couch and Bob and I are watching our shows, um, I could just do like a mindless blanket, like one that doesn't have a lot of different stitches or um, different style in the rows. So I got, I, I picked out a pattern that's just the same over and over and over again for like 216 rows or whatever. So I actually started that today. I got that started and I'm making that for my nephew, um, Lucas, or Luke, <laughs> we've never met him. He lives in Florida. Um, my husband's brother's son. So I made each of my kids a blanket and I made my, my, my brother's son, my nephew here, a blanket. So I'm gonna make Luke a blanket and then um, I have to make my niece a blanket. So I started that today. It's not gonna take away from my diamond painting. It's literally, I'm only gonna work on it when I um, am, am relaxing and like catching up on shows in my, in my chair because I cannot diamond paint in the living room like that. So that way I, usually I just like, play on my phone or something. So this way I can do something crafty and I just felt like doing some kind of crochet. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. And I am gonna make sure I press record all the times so we don't miss any of this square. So far it's looking like a tree. All right, guys, I am going to put you in a time lapse and uh, get this square done. I'll see you halfway there.
was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing under the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now
we're about halfway. And yeah, I started diamond painting and I forgot to press record. <laughs> it's because I told Bob, you know, go ahead and like turn the TV back on. And then I was looking for something to watch and I, I didn't want it to be recording while I was trying to find something to watch. And then I started diamond painting and forgot. I'm watching the Simone Biles story, Courage to Soar. So good. Oh my gosh, so good. Anyway, so yeah, we're about halfway done. And shocker, we have trees. So I'm sure we're going to have some blues cutting in through here. We have the pinks. As always, gorgeous. Um, so yeah, we're going to finish this up and see how it all comes together. Loving me was all you tried when you were around I've been told too many times now Yeah, loving me was all you tried when you were around I've been told too many times now But somewhere She 
all done. Wow, that's gorgeous. There were a ton of ABs in this one. Um, all these white ABs and then blue ABs, pink ABs, orange and yellow, green ABs. It, this was AB heaven. Um, didn't take me too crazy long. And there it is. Wow. So cool how it, it comes together and you, um, you really can't see where the squares began or ended. I was kind of worried about that. <clears throat> I wasn't I wasn't sure how that was going to translate, but yeah, no problem. All right, hold on one second, guys. Okay, so there is this section, and I did this square here. Wow. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. Just trying to make it sit. Is it a, it, maybe it is a blue, blue tree. Hmm. Okay, well, let me pull you all the way out. Okay, guys, I'm trying something different with my camera. So I, I hope you like this. It's, uh, I, I attached um, my full phone holder to, to my stand. I don't know. We'll see. So this is a, a true aerial view and yeah, this is the square we just finished and yeah, that is beautiful. It is really coming together, huh? So someone put in the comments that this reminds them of lavender and that's, yeah, I think that's what it is. That's what it is, I think. Lavender, lavender plant. I mean, we'll, we'll see. But I, I, I looked it up and I, that, that is exactly the plant that I was trying to find and put in. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll put a picture in here now, but yeah. So 25 squares done, 22, 22 to go. We are making some progress here. Um, so funny, my daughter just came home from work and she went, stopped at the supermarket and she bought herself a bag of cherries. She comes in and she sees, she looks on the counter. I bought her a bag of cherries. I went to the supermarket and I saw them and I'm like, she would love these. So I bought her a bag of cherries and some um, peaches and she bought nectarines and cherries. <laughs> So now she has double, but see, we're right here. Yeah, she's my buddy. Okay, guys, that's it. That's all I have for you today. I guess this shakes, huh? I'm gonna have to work on it. I don't know why it's shaking. Like, I can't even breathe next to it. It's very finicky. Okay, we'll work on the stand here. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out. And you can always hit that subscribe if you want to continue and follow along and watch this canvas come up to life, literally come to life. Um, yeah, more videos coming out. Take care, guys. Keep diamond painting.